Let's start with an assumption that happens to be a fact. The noise coming from an accessory drive is not usually the fault of the belt. Noise generated by a belt can be of several types and can be caused by a variety of problems. Sometimes installing a new belt may seem like a fix, but if the drive is not inspected and problems like misalignment and tensioning are not remedied, the noise will return along with a dissatisfied customer. This video focuses on the two main types of belt noise, chirp and squeal. These are different noises and they have different causes. Chirp is a series of sharp intermittent noises. As belt speed increases, the pitch and volume of chirp remain constant. Chirp is most often a result of misalignment between consecutive pulleys on a drive. It can also be caused by an improper installation, extremely worn belt ribs, worn pulley bearings causing wobble or free rock, or fluid contamination. Chirp occurs more frequently in poly rib drives than in V-belt drives. The most common cause of chirp, misalignment, can be either axial or angular. Axial misalignment is the most common, but both should be checked. Squeal is a relatively high-pitched noise, typically lasting several seconds, which does not change in pitch but may change in volume as the speed of the drive changes. Squeal is the most common type of belt noise. It may be continuous or it may be intermittent, changing with acceleration or added accessory load, for example the air conditioning compressor engaging. As mentioned earlier, a new belt can seem to resolve the noise problem. Most brands of belts now contain fiber, especially Deco's W profile belts. Once the fiber has worn off the surface of the belt and the ribs become seated in the pulley, the belt performs more aggressively. And if the misalignment has not been identified and remedied, the noise problem has not really been fixed. The direct cause of squeal is relative slip between the belt and pulleys. Usually the slip results from low belt tension due either to low installation tension or tension decay from belt relaxation or actual stretch or sidewall wear. Slip may also occur due to high loads resulting from bearing drag or an accessory on the verge of failure. An underdesigned drive slips due to high accessory load or insufficient wrap on the driven pulley. Belt dressing or contamination by oil and antifreeze or other lubricants may also cause slip. Regardless of the belt noise, a solution that will not work and is not effective and will destroy the belt further is the use of belt dressing which should never have been invented. Window washer fluid or any petroleum-based engine fluid such as oil, antifreeze, power steering fluid, brake fluid, brake cleaning fluid, transmission fluid, gasoline, or diesel fuel.